Why cat needs to buy an iPad? Take two. What's up, everybody? It's me, Doc. I just wanted to uh, send a little response to my friends, The Daily Dish, hello, Cat, and John Garcia, hello, John, of Nonstop Honolulu. They talked today about whether Cat should get herself an iPad. And they had some great points. They covered a lot of things. They also talked a little bit about the MacBook Air. It is a MacBook Air, not a Mac Air. I hate when people say that. And oh yeah, by the way, John, it's the Apple Store. The Mac Store, mascara. Apple Store, eye things. Just, just a little something for you, homie. Anyway, um, one of the best case scenarios for the iPad, besides video production, this also works great for photo, um, is creativity on a moment's notice wherever you are. I love to be able to write on my iPad and I found that with the battery life in the iPad I can basically sit down in a cafe and type if I wanted to for 10 hours the battery won't even question it and I use an external keyboard to make it easier so you're not actually typing on the pad itself but as far as creating things blogging on the fly um, even Editing video inside here with a program like Real Director, I find this is a great creation tool. One of my favorite apps here is a thing called iThoughts HD, which I know you won't be able to see because of the glare, but you can check it out in the Apple Store. iThoughts HD allows me to brainstorm, create nice little mind maps, outlines, and things like that to get my thoughts together. Then I pop over to my writing applications. I use a combination of Writer, and Simple Notes. Simple Notes is just a plain Jane text editor that allows you to write like crazy, syncs with your Dropbox, and then, as anybody who knows me, I love to write in plain text first, convert it to something else later on the computer. Um, I use the Keynote on the iPad a lot to do presentations, also sales, you know, other information like that. It's really great for that. But one thing that you guys really didn't talk about is the consumption and as a writer, what makes you a better writer, as I've learned from you, Kat, is you need to read more in order to write more. Reading books on this thing, reading magazines, listening to audiobooks, watching podcasts, even watching television off of like the ABC app or NBC Sports app or Netflix, this is the best consumption device in the planet. And I have literally watched videos for 10 hours straight on a single charge, and this thing will roll. The only thing that will kill it is if the Wi-Fi has to reach far meaning you only have like one tick or two ticks on the ice cream cone, that kills the battery. If you're within a decent range, this thing will go forever on Wi-Fi and not even blink. So creation, nothing beats the iPad, but portability, size, ease of use, and battery life. Consumption, nothing beats the iPad for basically the same reasons. Of course, there's playing games, <laughs> but it, it's also really neat and easy to interact with this as far as sitting up you know, all day doing Twitter and things like that. So I think iPad versus, say, like a MacBook Air, the iPad is still going to win because um, most people already have a standalone computer. Um, reality, it shouldn't be an either or. It should be both. I think you need the iPad and the MacBook Air, but if I was going to do that, I'd probably go iPad and MacBook Pro just because the Core i7 as a processor is much, much faster if you're going to do any creation of video and photos. So I just wanted to throw my two cents in. If you are an iPad user or still a wannabe iPad user, me and my buddy Pack Rat, we run the Hawaii iPad Users Group. We normally meet on the first Thursdays of every month at either Fresh Cafe or Good to Grill. So check me out on Twitter, at D-O-C-R-O-C-K. I'll let you know the next meeting is January 6th and come check that out. Maybe we can help you. So I look forward to hearing from you. Again, nonstop, great job on the videos. I hope this has been help, cat, buy an iPad. Let's get it right now. Aloha.